So uh, let's talk about Vince McMahon here for a little bit. What is he talking to you about? How's he getting you ready? Is he getting you excited for the title? I mean, do you feel like, hey, he is numero uno in Kurt Angle's corner. He's riding the angle train. Well, right when I started, Vince had his eyes on me and he took care of me. He, he was not, he wasn't teaching me how to wrestle in the ring. Uh, that, that was, um, the guys that I would wrestle, you know, the guys that would talk me through the matches to get me to learn while I was learning on the job. But Vince really talked to me about promos and pre-tapes and how to deliver them. And, uh, he really, he made me his project because he wanted me to be able to be really good at that stuff. And, and I was, and it was because of him, Mm -hmm. um, you know, he, he didn't, you know, unfortunately I didn't get to prepare before I went on TV, uh, before I started in the business, I didn't do much uh, promos or pre-tapes. I just did wrestling. But uh, when I started on TV, Vince started to teach me every week. After I do my promo, he'd sit me down, tell me what I did right, what I did wrong, and we would go through everything. So Vince, uh, you know, I was kind of his project the first year. And I, I believe that's the reason why I had so much success. I won every title you could win my first year in the business. I mean, listen, he knew you had the wrestling thing down pat. Yeah. Uh, so that's not the, the issue. What he also probably knew is he probably went back like we did a few months ago and watched your Memphis promos. Okay. <laughs> and then he was like, holy shit, I got my work cut out for me. Yes. If, <laughs> if I can turn Kurt Angle's promos into gold. If, actually, if he would have seen my Memphis promo, <laughs> I would have never came up to TV. <laughs> <laughs> but no, but he worked on you and took you under his wing. And then you became, you know, serious Kurt, you became funny Kurt. Look how your uh your whole being, your whole personality evolved. He just he, he allowed me to have a lot of depth and and yeah. he trusted me to be able to carry that out, which I was pleasantly surprised because it was very early in my career and he had me doing goofy Kurt, serious Kurt, you know, yeah. Kurt kick ass Kurt, uh heel Kurt. <laughs> You no, know, it was sexy <laughs> Kurt, yeah. rapper sexy Kurt. Kurt. Yeah, rapper Kurt. <laughs> you did it all, Kurt. Yes, but, uh, the many faces of Kurt. I was they so had, versatile. You were. They had the, the many faces of Foley, but I think there's the many faces of Kurt. <laughs> you did all. I mean, seriously, people post these videos of you on social media, and you're doing all this shit, dressed up like John Cena, putting this little you know, little guy into an ankle lock. No, Did you see that? An ankle lock. <laughs> oh yeah. No, but you dressed up like John Cena, like a rapper with the yes. football Jersey. And you grabbed this, this, this little person who had a sing singlet on and you threw him in a, in a, in the ankle lock. No, he three put me in an ankle lock. Did Oh, he did. And then you tapped out. That's right. That's right. That's right. Hello. Uh, Cause he My, was Kurt angle. I had to yeah. tap out to him. That's true. That's mini true. Kurt. Mini, he's just a mini character. 